<clears throat> and what we find so intriguing about this is now you can have that great on golf course experience. You can go out there with your friends, with the PGA professional that may be giving you a lesson, and to come back and to be able to see that data, to relive that round, to take the level of participation to another level, to a new height, and to really drill down on the data and to use that data to improve your game. How many fairways did I hit today? How many greens in regulation did I have? Hey, am I working with a PGA of America professional? Is he or she working on my grip and has that grip adjustment? Has it made my seven iron straighter? Has it allowed me to get five more yards? So we'd love that component that for us it represents where sports are headed at the participatory level. That convergence of playing a game and technology, and in our opinion, this really nailed it in the golf space because it's simple, it's easy, it's really quite frankly idiot proof. And also it doesn't go against the grain for golf. We still know that there are many golf courses out there where you can't pull out your phone or certainly your tablet. And this you don't have to worry about. You go out there, you have a wonderful golf experience and you come back and you're, you're enriched by that data. We also love this social element. How can you connect to people around the world, around the country? If I'm playing golf in New York and I want to play a match against Mike who's down at Bay Hill, and we could say, hey, you know what, let's do a greens in regulation or a fairway in regulation or a nine hole match. And to be able to share that data and to have this social component to connect golfers all around the country and inevitably all around the world for us was tremendously exciting. And then as an organization of PGA professionals, obviously one of the critical roles the PGA of America professional serves is teaching the game. And is this a way for some of our PGA of America professionals to enrich that, to make that more of a, an all-encompassing experience? So again, I take lessons from a PGA professional down in Palm Beach Gardens, and right now we're working on the, not to bore you with the details of my game, they're far less interesting than Graham's game, but we're working on my grip. And this is something that he can implement into that, not only to have that unbelievably valuable face time with me, which is, which is irreplaceable, but then to say, hey, you know what? I want you to tweet your next 10 rounds or email me your next 10 rounds. I want to see how what we're doing here on the practice range is, is translating to the golf course. And it can take that, whole, that teaching experience, we believe, for a segment of our membership to a whole new level. So again, for us, it was an easy decision. A light bulb went off and we said, you know what? This could be the answer. And as we learned more and as we met the people and when we started to understand that people like Graham who's obviously a great friend of ours, and Lee Westwood and Jim Furyk and others were involved, that made us feel better. Because now if we're the tangible connection between the game and everyone that plays it, and we have elite players in the game also talking about this, it's, it's, there's power there. And then it really was completed when we started having conversations with Mike and the Golf Channel, and they were taken by this too. And you can start to get adventurous and it's really some intriguing ideas of what Game Golf, the PGA of America, and Golf Channel can do to take the great experience of golf that we all love in this room and to bring it to a new level and to continue that convergence of golf and technology, which is absolutely critical if our game is to remain relevant. So we couldn't be more excited. We really love this relationship and, and we're proud to be a, a very, very big part of it. Pete Bavacqua is the CEO of the PGA of America.